Okay, make sure you don't get yourself stuck in a uh, restart loop. Remember that when you are running off the USB stick as the primary boot device, when Windows installation reaches the end of its measure and is ready to restart the computer to continue the installation, you gotta take the stick out. <laughs> if not, it will restart back into the very beginning of the installation process. If that happens, just turn the computer off and pull out the USB stick. So we're gonna turn the machine back on. And there is our Windows 7 start thing. You'll note you don't see the little flashy colors. That's predominantly because of the screen formatting. Uh, most of the time you won't see the uh, flying Windows starry looking thing on a netbook. It has nothing to do with the video setting. It's just the uh, form factor of the screen. Setup is updating registry settings. I will now pause the video until we have another prompt. Oh, wait, never mind. There we go, another prompt. Setup is starting services. And we have started the completing installation phase. The computer has just rebooted again. Okay, folks, here we are. This is where we give the computer its name and a description. And uh, we will quickly type that in and click Next. And here we are with our pertinent information set up. We will now click Next. Okay, the next screen is for user access. This is where you would set up your login password for the computer itself and uh, a sort. The next screen is the uh, the key. This is where you enter your key to register Windows. I will go ahead and type that in and click Next. Okay, our key has been inputted. And now we are going to click the Next button. And it's asking about... The security settings, use recommended settings, install important updates only, and ask me later. I'm going to go ahead and choose recommended settings. And it's asking me for the time date and time zone. And I will set that and be right back. And this is rather important. This is our wireless connection. And we are going to choose the... West 9716, which is actually the modem's connection. After selecting the network, we are presented with this. We are simply going to choose Home Network. And it shows the connecting to Home Network. Basically, it's setting up all of the uh, permission settings and so on and so forth. This will take a, about a minute or two. And we get the Windows is finalizing your setup and I get a battery light on the camera so I'll be right back after I swap batteries and this dialog window goes away like it just did and welcome to the Windows desktop we get our obligatory start button and um, clock so on and so forth just for those curious sound is working and the only thing I really have to install now, believe it or not, is the Symantec driver for the little glide point touchpad so I can scroll up and down pages with, by simply sliding across the right hand side. I don't think Vista has that built in automatically, but eh, it might. Who knows? If it does, I don't even need to install that. And that is installing Windows 7 on an Aspire 1 to show you that it is completely online. We will zoom out. Okay, maybe zoom in a bit more than out. 
and we will start Internet Explorer. Voila! The camera goes out of focus, isn't that lovely? Yep, welcome to the setup of Windows Internet Explorer. And ta-da! We are online, primed, and ready to go. Now, for you people out there wondering why little old me, who said I wouldn't do this, decided to install Windows 7, I will show you. With the Open Windows U button, we will get the Start magnifier. Now this I love. The magnifier is no longer a stupid little window off to the side. It actually is the entire screen. Which is absolutely freaking wonderful. Go ahead and close this out so it stops talking. And uh, you can turn this uh, little icon on here on and off. This lets you zoom in and out. Isn't this just the bomb? Now, we simply install uh, Firefox and our other little applets, and we're good to go. Enjoy your installation of Windows 7 on your netbook. Okay, folks, this is a little bit on the important side. How to get rid of this. It's very annoying, is it not? You can actually just, uh... change the settings here and turn it off. I'll go ahead and say yes, because I'm just trying to get this program installed. 